Now on Coast TV News. Bracing for the cold, Delaware's chilling winter forecast, how the state and residents are preparing for the dangerous cold ahead. Committee controversy, Rehoboth Beach rethinks its advisory committee system, how these changes could affect city governance and local participation. Getting into school spirit for football, preparations Stephen Decatur and K Penlopen High School Band and Cheer Squad are doing for the upcoming games. Coming up on Coast TV News at 6, can you believe part 2 of the cold? This is Coast TV News at 6. The coast turns cold, getting ready for frigid weather. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with intense early season cold impacting Delmarva. And as we get into our opening story this evening, the fact that the concern as the Mercury on the thermometer continues to drop. It's just getting cold and dangerously so. The kind of temperatures that you need to plan for to keep yourself and your family safe to that end. And for more information, we're going to turn over to our weather first alert weather meteorologist Alex Seymour, who's standing by outside the Coast TV studio. Yeah, good evening, Maddie and Charlie. Yeah, it's really another cold evening out here. We can see on this thermometer I've got here, we're sitting right around 32, 33 degrees this evening, right around that freezing mark, which is really cold for the very end of November. It's kind of just the first taste of winter that we've seen here on Delmarva. A good reminder that we need to prepare for the upcoming winter ahead. The coast has seen the coldest temperatures since early February over the past 24 hours. Temperatures fell to near 20 degrees overnight on parts of Delmarva. This cold had people pulling out all the extra layers when heading out on 2nd Street in Lewis today. Well, I've got on the heaviest coat that I own, and um, this is the first time this year that I'm wearing it. The cold even had some people making small changes to their normal daily routine. I just got to bundle up a little bit more. Um, usually I walk to the bus stop with my daughter, so we were driving in the car today just to keep warm. Even with the extra layers and changes, the general consensus for many people in Lewis today was that they were looking forward to the upcoming winter. Yes. 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 Looking forward to it. Oh yeah, love it. It was pretty yesterday when it was snowing. And they yeah. went to little snow squalls, but was, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. While the winter can certainly be exciting, it can bring many hazards that make having a level of preparedness necessary. This can be as easy as having emergency preparedness kits for your home and vehicle. If you're caught in a snow squall and there's a traffic jam, you could be stuck there for hours. So is your car ready for something like that? Do you have extra blankets? Do you have food? Maybe even just candy bars, water in your car. Do you have jumper cables? Do you have maybe a snow shovel for your car? One of the most forgotten hazards of the winter season is flooding. John Peterson emphasized the importance of people knowing their flood zone as nor'easters can cause severe coastal flooding. For more tips on how to prepare for the upcoming winter season, be sure to go, on, go to preparede.org. I'm meteorologist Alex Seymour live outside the newsroom in Milton Coast TV News. Thank you, Alex. And you can... Come on back inside now. Power outages can occur due to rolling blackouts or extreme weather conditions. Here's what DEMA wants people to do during a power outage in case one happens during dangerous cold weather conditions. The agency says to turn off and unplug appliances and computers. Leave one light on to indicate wind power has been restored. Do not use gas stoves for heating or operate generators indoors, including the garage. Both could cause carbon monoxide poisoning, and that is silent, odorless, tasteless, and deadly. If a traffic signal is not working, you need to treat those as if it is a stop sign. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is your main concern during extreme cold weather? We want to take an updated results uh, right, look right here. So far, a majority of folks barely saying car problems. I mean, this is really tight here, really split kind of evenly amongst all of these options. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, it's interesting. It's already changed today. Earlier, we were mm -hmm. seeing frozen pipes and power outages was getting a little bit more attention. This might change again before the end of the newscast, before the end of this evening. If you want to go vote, you can do so at coasttvnews.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. And we're going to have 
updated results on Coast TV News at 11. And speaking of the forecast, we're taking a live look right now into Rehoboth Beach with a more in-depth look at these frigid temperatures. Our first alert chief meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now with a look at our forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Maddie. Just as Alex mentioned before, statistically or climatologically is what we usually refer to it. Climatologically speaking, we are well below the norm for this time of the year. I mean, take a look at the temperatures right now where Alex is located. 31 degrees currently. We're holding at 30 degrees in Georgetown right now. It's 31 Del Mar, 29 in Selbyville, 28 Ocean Pines, and 33 degrees currently uh, in Rehoboth. Now, what does it feel like? Well, it feels like 28 in Lewis. It feels like 28 in Indian River Inlet. It feels like 29 in Selbyville, and it feels like 31 in Del Mar. And we have that surge of cold air that's coming out of the northwest from yesterday, but now beginning to shift out of the southwest. But see, this help that's on the way is more like a simmering help instead of a flame that's going to suddenly change things because of that surge of warm air coming in out of the southwest. It's moving relatively slow because even the wind Wind gust only at about four to five miles per hour. So coming out of this or thawing our way out of this is going to take a little patience as we're dealing with it, uh, but we are at least no longer under any kind of wind advisories or warnings or anything of that sort. And even as we widen the view of here, we look at the high pressure system and it's bringing in because of the circulation right here, that circulation is going to bring in that southwest wind, which will give us a chance to warm up. But it comes with one caveat, Maddie, and that's what's one thing. It's going to come with a strong helping of rain as well. We'll talk about that in your full forecast. Till then, back to you. Thank you, Paul. Denmark has finalized regulations to adopt the Advanced Clean Car Program. This was Delaware's goal to go all electric, electric cars specifically. That will go into effect this Friday. Now, here's a little difference. The law will cap the zero emission vehicle requirement at 82 percent. Regulations require automakers to deliver an increasing amount of zero emission vehicles for sale in Delaware. The original goal was originally get rid of gas powered cars pretty much altogether. In the past, Delaware Republicans filed bills to eliminate Denmark's ability to do it, many fearing it would be too expensive and overreaching. Now, we have a lot more information on those new regulations. You can check them out on our website, coasttvnews.com. Delaware Electric Cooperative's Board of Directors has voted to return more than $5 million in capital credits to its members in December. The company says it expects to distribute checks or billing credits to more than 75,000 members. Individuals must have been a member in 2011 to receive billing credits and members who have had an active account in 2011 but are no longer with the company. They will receive a check for their portion of the retired capital credits. The Delaware Republican Party is formally endorsing Valerie Jones Giltner in her candidacy for the District 37 special election. The District 37 seat now vacant due to former state representative Ruth Briggs King resigning from the Delaware House. Briggs King stepped down from legislature when she moved into her new home just over the district line from the 37th district. Valerie is a retired critical care nurse and health care consultant from Georgetown. Jane Hovington, the Democratic Party chair running against her, that election will take place December 21st from 7 to 8 a.m. A new Royal Farms is opening in Georgetown on December 14th. The new store and gas station will be located at Aero Safety Road, just a minute away from the Marvel Carriage Museum and four minutes away from the Circle. A representative from Royal Farm says that the location will have 16 pumps. The gas station will operate 24 hours a day. The town of Greenwood's Planning Commission is meeting December 6th to recommend a proposed ordinance on marijuana. At Greenwood's last town meeting, town council said they were leaning towards banning both businesses that sell and manufacture marijuana within town limits. After the council gets recommendations from the Planning Commission, people will have three more chances to provide public input on that proposal at some later date. Delaware State Police are investigating an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Greenwood on Tuesday night. The man police say they are looking for is on your screen here, 27-year-old Brian Holbin from Greenwood. According to troopers, they tried to arrest Holbin, a known fugitive with multiple warrants, they say during a traffic stop, Holbin used his Jeep to push two police cars aside and then shot his handgun at officers. DSP says the detective shot back, but Holbin ran away into a wooded area. Police say Holbin is considered to be armed and dangerous, and the troopers involved in the shooting are on administrative leave pending an investigation. New in Rehoboth Beach, the city currently has five advisory committees 
to handle various city business. But now there's a proposal on the table to cut it down to just one. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber shows us why people who live in Rehoboth Beach are divided on the issue. Carolyn Diefenderfer lives in Rehoboth Beach and is currently a member of the city's Environment Committee. I think there's benefit to having the committees because this, the, the commissioners don't have time to dive into a given topic in as much detail as might be necessary um, to take up a given issue. And the, the reports that come out of the committees should provide that, that background and some of that research that might be necessary for a given topic. The idea to combine the five committees into one was proposed at the November 6th workshop meeting. The five advisory committees include Animal Issues Committee, Boardwalk and Beach Committee, Environment Committee, Streets and Transportation Committee, and the Trees and Green Infrastructure Committee. Stephen Provost, who lives in Rehoboth and owns a business there, is all for it. I think there's some uh, very nice aspects to it because we can have uh, different uh, little uh, committees that come together and have their opinions that wouldn't normally. So say the environmental committee and the pet committee might have some ideas that normally wouldn't be heard uh, within the uh, separate committees. Tony Sharp, the commissioner who proposed the idea, says one committee made up of people from every neighborhood in Rehoboth could make planning more efficient and allow all the commissioners to be involved with the issues. The city of Rehoboth Beach says that the commissioners will further discuss the topic at the December workshop meeting. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. We have a lot more news to get to this evening. Still to come, protecting your livestock for the upcoming winter season. What Delaware Department of Agriculture wants farmers to know. Goodbye frost, hello warmth. Stay with us for the warming details. First, school spirit on the rise at Cape Henlopen and Stephen Decatur. How band and cheer are preparing for game day. We're back with that in just 60 seconds. You know, Brian, the best thing about living in Maryland and Delaware is that we can use our deck year-round. And Nikki, Paul Davis still has time to install 10 more decks before Christmas. Sign me up. Paul Davis's Azek decks are the best. They don't fade or crack, even in the winter. Our customers love our decks, and our crews are ready to install your deck so you can enjoy the holidays. Call now for your free estimate, and we'll include a fire pit free with your new deck. Now that is a good holiday. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. We are the difference makers. At Boscov's, our prices are dropping for holiday shopping. 40 to 75% off almost all fashion collections from Alfred Dunner, Ruby Road, Emmeline, and more. Receive a free Clinique Kate Spade seven-piece gift with any $36 Clinique purchase. Men's spider fleece pullover hoods or quarter zip mock necks, just $19.99. And Boscov's delicious chocolate-covered pretzels by Asher's, only $11.99. For the best gifts at unbeatable prices with extended holiday hours, shop Boscov's. This is Coast TV News at 6. Getting in tune, the excitement is just getting started as both Cape Penlopen and Stephen Decatur prepare for the state championships. As Coast TV's Tori Seagraves reports, the band and cheer groups are ready to hype up what is anticipated to be a large crowd. Hearing that Cape Henlopen and Stephen Decatur High Schools are going to the state championships is music to their ears. Cape's marching band says they're reading their sheet music and practicing their chords ahead of the big day and are arguably just as excited as the ones throwing the ball. It's been a long time, but we are ex we're just so excited. We're so excited to be, first off, be able to have a football team that can get us there. We're really excited for those guys. They're doing amazing. Um, and overall, we're just excited to be have the opportunity to go. Assistant Band Director Ellie Rolfes says it's been great to follow the team on this journey. We've been at every game supporting the football team and so to get to these playoffs and just continue winning unexpectedly in such great, big, like momentous ways has been so awesome. Um, so it's been really fun just to be a part of that and to get all the way up to Delaware, uh, UD Stadium is going to be a really cool experience. Cheering on Stephen Decatur, players from the sidelines are their cheerleaders. Decatur's band won't be at the game, but Decatur's cheerleaders are ready to get the crowd loud. There's going to be a lot of screaming going on, um, but we're always pumped for game day, So, but there'll definitely be extra cheering. 
For Marley Hill, going to the Maryland State Championship game has made her last year in high school one to remember. It is the finals and of course we want to cheer boys on and hopefully to a win. A win for the team and for the school. The Cape Penlope and Viking Band will begin their field performance at 6.30 on Friday to kick off the game and Stephen Decatur cheerleaders will be ready to help the Seahawks take home the championship title. The band will be heading up to University of Delaware Stadium on Friday just before the football team to get in some last minute rehearsals before the big game. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. Don't forget, tune in to the Delmara Sports Network coverage of these games. Coverage begins for both games 6.30 p.m. Stephen Decatur plays Huntington tomorrow 7 o'clock at Navy Stadium. And the Cape Henlopen Vikings, they take on Silesianum on Friday. That would be at the University of Delaware as well. Coverage starts at 6.30 p.m. There's some rain sliding in our direction. I'll give you the timing of that rain and your football forecast coming up in a moment. Beach. We're discounting Buick SUVs all month long, like $52.50 off a new Buick Envision. Or how about $199 a month for a new Buick Encore GX all-wheel drive? Nobody beats a Burton deal on Buick SUVs. Nobody. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, so I would So they're say... made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go... they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. New updated COVID vaccines are now available. This updated COVID vaccine protects you from the Omicron variant XBB, currently one of the most common variants. No matter how many previous vaccines you have received, you should get the new COVID vaccine. Antibodies from previous doses may have gone down, no longer providing protection. Everyone five years and older should get one updated COVID vaccine. Those six months through four years should get one to three doses, depending on previous doses and manufacturer. Evening and Saturday appointments are available. Call La Red Health Center today. Moments like this, you're faced with an important question. If a ball lands in a cup and no one else sees it, does it count? You bet your sweet five iron it does. Somewhere to smile about, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh wait, he's still going. Okay, nice. Thank you for calling Coastal Comfort. This is a complimentary call. A couple of years ago, I had my heat pumps replaced. Last night, I noticed one of them wasn't working right. Somebody was out here within a couple of hours, and it's working perfectly. But I was in the service industry for 33 years. Good service is something you can't find today. It very much is appreciated. Your, your crew is a good crew. You really fine people are professional, and they're efficient. Coastal Comfort, a carrier factory authorized dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. Burton at the beach. Drive home in a new GMC Sierra four-wheel drive for only $3.99 a month. Or check this out. Get a new GMC Terrain for only $2.59 a month. Nobody beats a Burton deal on GMC. Nobody. Well, are you ready for some football? Forecast, uh, that is. Actually, that's what we're talking about. We start off with our game day forecast. Before we get started, be sure you uh, scan the QR code in the corner of the screen because, listen, this is going to help you with planning what you should wear during the football games. You have an hour-by-hour -hour breakdown on what's happening at the site of the football game. So that's another reason why you should download and scan that QR code so you can get the latest. Now, of course, the game kicks off at about 7 o'clock in the evening but leading up to the game with all of the uh, festivities leading up to the game we're going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies with temperatures in the 40s but we're not expecting any rain for thursday now friday is a whole different thing but it's thursday not expecting any rain live radar we're looking very clear at this point and we're staying clear at this present time now 
Keep in mind, we've been colder than usual, admittedly. I mean, we had the wind chill factor in the teens, and a couple of areas that actually fell into the teens briefly for a moment. But right now, we have high pressure that's in control of our weather, so that helps us with looking at a little more in the way of sunshine. But at night, that works against us because clear skies allow for the temperatures to drop even more easily, so to speak. 30 degrees currently in Georgetown and in Del Mar, 31 in Seaford. And we're about 4 to 5 degrees cooler, generally speaking, Today, right now, than we were just 24 hours ago. So it feels cooler. It feels like 25 degrees in Georgetown. It feels like 27. Indian River Inlet, Lewis, as well as Milford, feeling like the 20s indeed. We take a look at our expectations for Thursday. In the morning time, we'll see thick cloud cover initially. Then we'll see briefly some sunshine back and forth till we get into Friday, according to our high resolution model. Now, what should we wear? Because that's been the tricky question all week long, right? Well, now we're coming out of the coldest of the weather. So look for a sweater and actually some sunglasses because we're going to see a good deal of sunshine. When the sun shows up, it's going to be really blaring and bright, by the way. So Thursday, we have zonal flow with winds out of the west and winds will push out of the south going into Thursday afternoon. That's going to help us feel a little bit better. But it also brings in warm moisture and sets us up for a chance of rain by Friday afternoon at four o'clock in the afternoon and then the clouds will stay thick for us. Here's a look at your exclusive Paul Davis Restoration Homely Mountain extended forecast. 54 on Thursday, 57 on Friday, but the rain hits about a 60 to 70% chance of rain, by the way, Friday. Cloudy on Saturday, another round of rain for Sunday and for Monday. Paul, thank you. As winter approaches, livestock owners must prep for harsh conditions. The Delaware Department of Agriculture is asking farmers to inspect barns for stability, ensuring clean, dry bedding and ample supplies, stock enough feed for a week, arrange alternate water sources, and use tank de-icers for outdoor water access. Make sure you have important veterinary supplies and updated vaccinations. The department says protecting animals from snow and wind is just so key during this cold season. The holiday season is here and with it comes many fun activities for people of all ages to enjoy, like the holiday lights and decorations put up all over Delmarva. Take a look at your screen. We've got this amazing holiday house from Joe Beth and John Conrad from Millville. Their home is lit up and ready for Christmas. Thanks for sending that in, gang. We would love to see how you're decorating your home for the holiday season. You can send your pictures and your videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. The holiday season is upon us and the Bless Our Children campaign, that's in full swing already. We have collected over $95,000 to help provide Christmas for children who otherwise might go without. But as we all know, this year is creating hardship for many more people, and the need for help is going to be even larger. Thank you, everyone who has donated to this year's Bless Our Children campaign. Take a look. Our tree is getting more full with cards, and that's because you're helping with that. Your donations, including this one from Milford, Delaware. No name, but you don't need a name to donate. We appreciate the anonymous generosity, and if you'd like to do that, you can go to blessourchildren.org. Tonight, beginning at 7, Kelly Clarkson brings some holiday magic to Coast TV with NBC's Christmas and Rockefeller Center. Don't miss the iconic tree lighting and festive performances only on Coast TV. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. What's going on, sports fans? We have two local teams going to the biggest stage, and not only will we have in-game coverage all night long, we will see the journey these teams took to get here. First up, the road to the state championship with the Cape Henlopen Vikings. For the last better part of a decade, winning has kind of been an afterthought. But one look at the tape will tell you that Cape is a whole different beast here in 2023. Uh, we like to teach life lessons through the game, and what we really want is these kids to have success. Cape would go on to win 46 to 14 and advanced to states for the first time in almost 40 years. Cape will battle it out this Friday at 7 p.m. State championship coverage starts at 6.30 p.m. right here 
on the Delmarva Sports Network along with Stephen Decatur tomorrow night in the state final at 7 p.m. Have a great night, everybody. Delmarva's Holiday House is brought to you by Bay to Beach Builders. Hey Delmarva, this is MJ Laughlin with Red Tag Savings at IG Burton Chevrolet in Melford, Seaford, Lewis, and Berlin. Get 1.9% financing on Silverado or Equinox, plus no payments for 90 days. Or take home a new 2024 Chevy Equinox for just $228 per month. Come see us today at any IG Burton Chevrolet location in Melford, Seaford, Lewis, or Berlin. Or online at IGBurton.com for all the details. Nobody beats a Burton deal. Nobody. Watch for the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. The face of homelessness is changing. More and more, the people seeking food and shelter right here in our community are moms with children, whole families in need, and people in mental health crisis. But there is hope. Halo Ministry is making a difference, and you can help. Halo has been the best way for you to help the homeless in our community. Because we offer more than a meal and a warm bed. We teach life skills and provide case management. We offer hope, the hope of Christ, and we put His commandments into action. And that's what really changes lives. Won't you help us do His work? Visit haloministry.org right now and click the donate button. Your end of year giving is vital to our mission. I always promise you I'll make every dollar count and all of it stays local. Your year-end gift can benefit everyone in our community. Thank you. The Cape Henlopen Vikings are headed to the state championship Friday at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to Delmarva Sports Network for an in-depth look at the Vikings road to the state championship. Follow DSN on social media for live updates presented by Pohanka of Salisbury and Athlete Academy. Feel the magic of the season as you wander your way through an immersive winter wonderland at Ocean City, Maryland's Winter Fest of Lights. Let imagination flourish at Northside Park with thousands of twinkling lights and larger-than-life animated Christmas scenes. Sip hot chocolate, snap a photo of Santa, and enjoy the array of holiday exhibits under the illuminating holiday lights. Find your magic at Winter Fest of Lights, an Ocean City, Maryland family tradition. Open November 16th through December 31st. Get tickets at Oceocean.com or Northside Park. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Here's a look at your exclusive Coast TV 10-day forecast. 54 for Thursday, 57 for Friday, but Friday, rain for the football game. Well, thank you and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, for more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight on Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.